Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm gonna uh, swap this crankcase with this. Uh, you know this. This one is also this one is also a new one. But uh, when I started to assemble it, this is bought from eBay, Chinese. And uh, when I started to assemble it, all went fine so far uh, until I got to this side, and I couldn't uh, couldn't make the the co coil fit. And you can see the difference here. And here. This little mounting bracket here is missing here. Uh, the reason I think is because this is a steel MS 250C and uh, this is the comfort version, this is the, the easy start uh, for the saw and it uses a different flywheel. So, what I think, this is not for an uh, 250C as, as the eBay says, it's uh, for the O25 or the regular MS250. So that was a bummer, but anyway, uh, I have to change it, this over here, and uh, I thought this was a good idea making a video. So let's start. This is also pretty straightforward. It's just about swapping parts from from uh, one item to the other. So I think anyone, yeah, anyone can do it. Remember this spring?
It's all fiddly, but uh, there you go. Now I will uh, um, swap the, the engine and I will also uh, re, re uh, put new gasket when I'm already this far I can as well do that. And then you have four screws down here. I forgot to take off the, the clutch assembly. This is counter clock. Um, screw it into place. And I also take out the um, oil line. Remember this seal? with the feeder hose and the filter. Okay, so now for the engine and the rear sealing. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, I know the saw is running. But 
when you have done so much you can as well uh, do that Make sure to not get anything down here. I use a very fine uh, sandpaper and a bit uh, um, rougher to take the, the main part of the old sealer fiddly work but uh, I prefer to do it when I have split uh,
Yeah, it looks good. And you don't have to use much of this. Just a thin layer is enough. I also will apply on the seals. As you can see, I'm, I'm using a little bit more down here in the corner. That's because my fingers are too big to, to reach in. So the, this will uh, squeeze it and uh, make it go in every small areas that I can't reach. I'm doing both sides. I don't think it's necessary, but anyway, I do it. Better safe than sorry. If your saw is, uh, if you're, um, you discover your saw is scored and you can't find an obvious reason, the vacuum hose is good, the intake manifold is good, and everything seems good. Uh, many times the reason is that the sealers on the 
crankshaft these rubber parts here you have one on each side and in many cases that's the reason they get worn out these I haven't changed for not so long uh, before I got my camera but next time I'll I'll film while I'm doing it it happens uh, not a lot but it sure happens so I think this will be a nice snug fit I will also change this vacuum hose you can see in my other videos I'm not a fan of this steel original so now I'm gonna change that And then we're ready to put it in the new housing. Sorry, you can't see. This is just as fiddly to get it in as to get it out. But we're getting there. Like a glove. So you flip it over and in it try to hold some fingers on the top and just so it not falls apart. enough sealant I can see it's uh, it's plenty I crisscross this when I'm tightening up this. I don't have a torque wrench for it at hand now. This is not my regular shop. I will do a um, I will tighten this up with uh, the um, torque wrench when I get uh, on my own shop before I start her up. So later tonight I'll, I'll fix it. Okay, let's assemble the clutch. First goes the worm gear.
and the spacer. And remember, this is counterclock. Make sure it doesn't go out the exhaust port, the rope or cable or whatever you have. I just got the cable for the hand now. That didn't work. Now I got the rope and uh, it should do the trick, I think. You don't have to over tighten this uh, because the torque of the machine when it's running will tighten up the bolt. That's why it's counterclockwise. You notice I'm missing the bearing here. It's uh, it's coming in the it's in the post, but in this Christmas times, it's uh, it's taking a while. And there is your brake complete. So you see guys, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just um, take things in the right order and, and um, it will work. Uh, Work fine. And the same here, you don't have to overdo the nuts. And I have never done, never experienced this. This has come loose anytime. So, 
so far so good. Let's um, put on the coil. And it goes like on like this. And you have some cables here. This is for the stop. This is just ground and it has an additional ground wire and which goes from here to here. I don't know if you see it, this one, from that to that. along with this. Did I have the right? Yeah. It just it didn't feel right, but it is. So, when I put these wires together along with the screw and down to the cylinder head. So it has good ground. I do not tighten these uh, screws yet because I have to adjust the coil to the flywheel. You can use some paper, uh, it's nice to use uh, receipts from the supermarket, they are thin and, and nice, but I use this fine the gridded sandpaper because it's very very thin. And I just put it like so the paper in between the and then I just tighten it lightly
and then I make sure it doesn't touch us the, the magnets to them. And get your cables down this uh, groove here. Then I think we're ready for the handle. I have another video, so if I go out of the battery in this one, uh, it's another video how how I do this. But uh, we go as long as I have the battery. See this tap here? It's for this vacuum hose. Make sure to you get that on, otherwise you make yourself a lot of uh, unnecessary work. It's on. One mistake I did now is that the wires have to go in the groove here. Down there. That was a mistake, sorry. I think I can make it work by using some brute force. Otherwise I have to disassemble the whole thing. That's one. And the other.
So now you can start fiddling this. Uh, this is the worst part, I think. It's so many things that have to get together at the same time to make this uh, fit. Maybe steel doesn't want us to mess with these things on the wrong. Sorry for that bad filming. I always double, triple and many times check the vacuum hose as I go along with this. When I do this kind of work because I have experienced it come loose and nothing worked when the big moment comes to start off. Now I plunder with the, the manifold. If anyone knows a good trick of getting this uh, rubber manifold uh, through this hole, please do comment and maybe show a video. Because I don't have found a good way at this. I'm trying different things every time I feel. But it is coming. Slow but safe. Now I'm sure that that steel don't want us to to do this. It may be they want you to buy a, a new saw. Whenever uh, it breaks down, Starting to look like a chainsaw, you don't think? And as I said in my other videos, uh, don't be afraid of trying this. Uh, it's not. If you do things the, the, the right in the right order and uh, have it clean, a good working station, it's a lot you can do and 
Nothing of this is dangerous, just... Many people said to me they're afraid to break anything, but... What you gonna break? It's just a chainsaw at the end of the day. But the satisfaction of... Getting it to work and... Operate as it was new is... is I think it's a good feeling, I like it. I do this a lot. Not just steel, but who's car on Jonsred and Echoes. And I even like the Chinese one. That's because the, 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 the parts are cheap. And uh, there are some legends at YouTube that have tested this Chinese. And yeah. They do not hate them. They even buy more and bigger Chinese souls. Now I'm uh, struggling with this rubber, rubber uh, sealing and I don't know what you call it. It's for the ignition switch. I have lost uh, lost faith in this Chinese uh, aftermarket parts. Uh, I mean, the quality looks all right, but when it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And when it says it's gonna fit, and it uh, it doesn't, it uh, yeah, you understand what I mean. And now for the carburetor. This hose is uh, it's fifty fifty. <laughs> what is what? I do not remember, but I'll try. I'm sure I get wrong at the first attempt, but uh, we just swap it over. I'm not gonna start it now because I haven't tightened up the bolts underneath the, the, the crankhouse, as I mentioned earlier. I will do that with the
How much you want to bet it's, it's the wrong way? I think something isn't right. I have to investigate. Okay, so I got it on. Uh, good, adv good advice is to take a picture when you when you uh, disassemble it. I didn't, so I have to. I did have to investigate it a little bit to uh, get the primer hoses on. I don't know yet if they're right because I obviously have no fuel in the new tank. So far so good. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in for now. It has nothing to do with the purpose of the video. It was this case and very tight in there for my big fingers
for the if you notice I haven't the throttle linkage that's because I'm missing it I have uh, yeah I don't know where I have done it I can't find it so I have to order a new one so for now I'm just gonna put this in and so I don't uh, lose more parts Steel is, uh, I think, is a very good sauce, but uh, this plastic, yeah, I don't like it at all. There, I think, who's corn and you instead of this is much better. Now it's starting to look like a chainsaw again, don't you think? This is the bad thing with the 250, the C. This starter house is uh, not uh, durable at all. And as far as I know, there is no fix for it.
what I think happened is this um, locking ring here. <laughs> it's it's way too too small, too too weak. When the when the spring tensions up to its maximum power, it it's yeah I don't know, but I think it's it just uh, don't deal have the have the strength to deal with all that pressure coming from from when the, the spring starts to to spin around. That's what I think. I don't know. I have a, uh, uh, a possible fix for it in my mind. Mm, so when I... Hopefully when I do find a, a broken one of these I will try to to improve them and uh, if it's a success uh, I will of course post it online for others to see. But I have to try it first and, and be sure it's it's a good fix. And then it seems like we have a chainsaw. This is the original part. It has a steel parts here. And I uh, bought, bought it from uh, the UK. Now it's all this little plastic who goes in every of these rubber dampers. And these plastic clips guides for the chain. And it's a cheap fix, I think I paid uh, I think it was about 60 pounds for this So I, fi I fixed, uh, I fixed the, the, the chainsaw for I don't know 80 pounds because it was broken here it has a crack here due to uh, uh, misuse. Uh, somebody abused it. But this was a bummer. Uh, this China. So when, if anyone needs to owe 25, I have one. <laughs> Many people complain about this quick tensioner, non toolless tensioner. I think it's alright. I haven't had that much issue with it.
and there you go folks um, this was just about an uh, hour and a half work and uh, everyone can do this uh, by themselves I'm sure just do things in the right order now I'm, I know I'm not completely done in here because I'm missing the, the throttle link and the, the bearing for the sprocket wheel but yeah I'm happy so uh, I hope you you uh, enjoyed it again apologize for my English and uh, hopefully I'm gonna do some more wrenching on other saws and uh, I will be filming anyway okay bye